Has Jack Daniels gone downhill? I'm with John, the whiskey neighbor, Good who I have the pleasure of introducing today. And I'm James from Sons of Vancouver. We're gonna do a tasting side by side of 1984 and a 2023 bottling of Jack Daniels Tennessee whiskey. Well, I'm totally excited to get into this with you, James, because I have often wondered how whiskey has changed in terms of what it came out 40, 30 years ago and what it's like today. So I'm totally jazzed to see, has Tennessee whiskey gone downhill or is it somehow better? <laughs> Good question, Aguada. On our right hand, John, we have the 2023 bottling. On our left is the 1984. We'll start by nosing them. Okay, there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Getting a surprising amount of honey sweetness off it right off the top, mm -hmm. but also I have to say a little bit of ethanol coming off it, like just a little bit of right up alcohol. There's really that signature Jack Daniels note, that like um, just straight oak. It's, it's a little bit of, It's something on fire, like a, like it's it's not burnt rubber. It's like, um... well, I, I I would come back to. I'm not getting a lot of complicated here. Like definitely some overripe fruits, a little bit of banana, sweet vanilla, sweet oak, a little bit of honey. Um, not a lot of spice for me. It's it's staying pretty clean and sweet. Okay, so a lot of times with uh, a lot of times with oak, especially this much oak, I really expect like red fruit, which is not coming off at all. No. Um, or at least with bourbon, you certainly do. Okay, this is like, we. J I just opened oh my up God. a bag of those candied bananas. You know those candied marshmallow bananas? Uh, runs? Uh, no, 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 no. I mean like a marshmallow, like a, a fake yeah, marshmallow. Oh. Yeah. marshmallow banana. It's like yeah. so sweet and like all over this nose. From oh my God. Can you get that? I can't believe how like like floral and fruity this is. Okay, yeah. At least side by side, yeah. you know, like. Much more floral and sweet. I'm still getting that marshmallow banana on here, but it's it's definitely expressive, way more expressive than the 84. Yeah, side by side, like actually the 84 is like, you know, nearly stands out as over oaked, just on the nose, I, I haven't tasted it yet. Side by side, yeah, okay. 2023 Jack is unnoticeable. Like you, you wouldn't put these in the same, in the same distillery. Right, I'd agree. Okay, ready to taste them? I think we better go in. Go okay. old first? Go in old first. Cheers. Well, that, that was way better than it was for me. Um, and I even like some of the cinnamons and spicing that came up on that. A little bit of wood spice. Mm -hmm. That was, I, I uh, appreciate that because I wasn't getting that on the nose at all. Yeah. So that helped balance some of that sweetness I was getting there. Mm. The finish is that Jack Daniels like, like smoky, woody, you know, Tennessee finish. Yeah, yeah, that okay. Signature Jack Daniels finish. Mm. I haven't tried the new one in a couple months, but I feel like it holds up in the... Uh... Yeah, I, I, I too would say that nose was really not capturing my attention, but the palate was pretty good. And there's, you know, there's an amount of smoke on the nose that I just can't get over. I think we gotta get at, get at this new one. No. Oh. Tennessee Rickhouse Fire, that's my final answer. Ah. Now we've moved on to the newer bottling, 2023. Let's see what this fruit's all about. Absolutely. Oh my God, you know what that smell is? This smell is, is peach. It's like, it's like synthetic peaches. Well, no, I, it's, it's kernels, it's, it's the peach kernel. Inside the pit, there's a seed. Oh, wow, okay. It's like a variant of like marzipan. I, I, could, I could get there if we think that variant has a little bit of bitterness to it. Um, but I like where you're going when you said synthetic, because that was with me with banana, and mm. I could get that with uh, a bit of a synthetic peach as well. But the nose is way more floral for me, way sweeter and yeah. full of fruits than, than the older one. I, I think I might actually prefer the newer bottling, which was counter to what I yeah. went uh, into this thinking. Uh, I, but it, wow, I'm having a, a kind of a different experience than I thought I would. Mm -hmm. the, the older one, I'm gonna say again, the nose just didn't bring me in. Yeah, I get a lot of the oaking that you're saying, but the spicing and the structure for me was actually uh, okay. Yeah. Um, the nose, way more expressive on the new one. Like, just like, uh, I was lots more fruits and stuff. Yeah, for me, some of them synthetic, some of them are maybe not the best fruits, but they were there and yeah. present. But the palate seems a bit thin, a bit watery, a bit, bit relaxed. I, yeah, there's that signature kind of smoked at the end, but, but it's not caring, it's not giving me a lot of uh, warm love through the middle of it. You know, one thing to say about this, John, is that uh, the older bottlings are 90 proof, and we're drinking uh, 80 proof here. Ah, so there's a difference of 5% alcohol. You know what, that could be the experience a bit that I'm having, for yeah. sure. 
Because some of that spicing comes through with a little bit more, uh, more alcohol to carry it through. I but mean, it's like an 8% difference. Which do you think you might prefer? Because I, you know, a, a good nosing whiskey always pulls me in, but it's got to have a, a story once I'm there. Mm -hmm. and, and I actually, I don't know, yeah, I'm yeah. a bit more drawn to the older one overall. That's okay. You know, I'm a, right now I'm deep in this uh, fruity whiskey hole. Yeah. And I think for me, I prefer the lighter one here. I always gravitate towards uh, higher ABV whiskeys, especially in like a side by side. Mm -hmm. But I really enjoy the fruitiness on this. Fair. Awesome. Well, thanks for, for uh, letting me sip some of this older release. It's been really great. Cheers.